everybody, welcome back to another episode of Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be talking about another benzodiazepine medication. This one is known as Temazepam. Its brand name is Restoril. Now, before we talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So as I mentioned, Temazepam is a member of the benzodiazepine class of medications. At appropriate doses, its hypnotic effect can improve sleep parameters in patients. The great thing about this medication, again, if you get the dose correctly, there won't be any residual effects of the medication, and oftentimes patients won't experience any daytime sedation. So the official indication for temazepam is to treat insomnia. Now before somebody was to use temazepam or Restoril, there are some precautions and warnings that patients should be made aware of, as well as one contraindication we should touch on. This medication is contraindicated in women who are or may become pregnant. This is due to the fact that it may cause fetal harm. Temazepam is also on the Beers criteria, which is a list of medications that the elderly population should do their best to avoid or use cautiously if they're going to use these medications. With temazepam and other benzodiazepines in general, the risk here is that these patients would be at an increased risk of suffering from cognitive impairment, which could even result in delirium. Falls, fractures, as well as motor vehicle accidents would also be a concern in this aging population. It must be used cautiously in patients who have hepatic or liver impairment as use of this medication can cause some hepatic abnormalities. Anaphylaxis and angioedema have both occurred with temazepam as early as with the first dose. If this was to happen to a patient, the medication would be discontinued and they would not try this medication again. New or worsening of insomnia may be noticed in some patients. This would typically be an indicator of another primary medical issue or another psychiatric illness that must be evaluated. CNS depressant effects, as well as changes in behavior, whether that be aggression, agitation, hallucinations, or depolarization, have been reported in patients using temazepam, and it's usually dose-related. The elderly population would be more susceptible to these side effects. Complex behaviors, such as sleep driving, have been reported with the use of temazepam. This would be more common if people were using this medication with alcohol or other CNS depressants. If this was to occur, discontinuation of therapy may be necessary. Drowsiness, as well as a decrease in level of functioning, have been reported with this medication. Again, this would be more common in the elderly population, and it may be a sign that the dose is too high. It must be used cautiously in patients who have depression as the use of this medication may put the patient at an increased risk of developing suicidal ideation. It must be used cautiously again in patients who have renal impairment. And it should be noted that if the medication is discontinued abruptly, the patient may experience withdrawal symptoms. And once somebody is made aware of the precautions and warnings, and they clear that one contraindication we mentioned, and they start using tenazepam, they can expect to take it in capsule form. When it's being used to treat insomnia, anywhere from 7.5 milligrams all the way up to 30 milligrams may be tried at bedtime. The National Institute of Occupational Health and Safety did release a recommendation that if anybody is handling intact temazepam capsules, they should use one set of gloves while they're handling the medication. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using temazepam, so I'll try to touch on some of those here for you now. In terms of cardiovascular side effects, patients have to watch out for a drop in blood pressure, so they may experience hypotension. Somnolence may occur in up to 9% of people who use temazepam. Third vision can happen about 1.3% of the time. In terms of psychiatric side effects, some people do notice mood changes. And although this last one is rare, it is very serious that angioedema may occur as well. That's all we're going to talk about today with temazepam or Restoril. As always, I'm thankful that you took the time to combine and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help me grow this channel, you can do so by liking the videos, sharing the videos, or most importantly, subscribing to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.